Hi everyone. I was uh, recently invited to Finland, uh, Helsinki, to visit their icebreaker ships. So I got to visit not only one or two, but five icebreaker ships in total, and they were all moored next to one another because it was not the ice season yet. These ships ranged from six to seven years old, or rather eight years old, to seventy-year-old ships. But if you went on those ships, you would not realize that these are that old. So these five icebreaker ships were available to me to visit. However, due to restriction of time, I could only visit one or two. I specifically visited in detail the latest or rather the newest model of their icebreaker ships, uh, one model or one ship called the Polaris. So Polaris uh, is of course a Finnish icebreaker ship and it was built in 2016. She's the most powerful icebreaker ever to fly the Finnish flag and the first icebreaker in the world to feature environmentally friendly dual fuel engines capable of using both low sulfur marine diesel oil and liquefied natural gas. So in the mid 90s the Finnish National Board of Navigation launched a project to fund these secondary uses for the new vessels and a multi-purpose application of the new icebreaker resulted in a better utilization of the vessels assuming they were chartered by a commercial third party however based on ice model test carried out before the vessel is delivered polaris is capable of breaking level ice with a thickness of 1.8 meters which is about 6 feet at 3 and 1/2 knots and can maintain a speed of 9.2 knots unbreakable while the ice in the northern parts of the gulf of finland does not get thicker than the highest winters the high ice breaking capability of this vessel allows the vessel to operate efficiently in all prevailing ice conditions particularly heavily raised ice fields and maintain an high average escort speed through the winter in open water the vessel has a trial speed of 17 knots so this vessel and they showed us a lot of videos on the bridge the captain was very kind enough to show us the videos where this vessel actually paved the path for non icebreaker vessels what you see in your videos here are we are actually passing through these different icebreaker ships we actually went to all five um, but uh, i had to choose one or two of them to really visit so you can see the name of the ship polaris is written here this is the one where we spent the most time because this was the newest icebreaker and uh, that was the most logical thing to do so of course here we are in the engine room of the polaris and this has a diesel electric power plant and a propulsion system She is the first icebreaker in the world to be powered by a dual fuel engine capable of using both low sulfur marine diesel oil as well as liquefied natural gas. So Polaris actually features a novel propulsion system consisting of three electrically driven azipoid propulsion units one of which is located in the bow of the vessel. The stern propulsion units are rated at 6.5 megawatts. So this new type of propulsion system was selected to fulfill the strict operational capability requirements as set by the Finnish Transport Agency particularly in raised ice fields so based on ice model test carried out before the vessel is delivered polaris is capable of continuously breaking ice with a thickness of 1.8 meters that i have told you but it also has a bollard pull of about 214 metric tons and it can be utilized for emergency towing of stricken vessels again you can see the mess rooms are beautifully absolutely spick and span um you this is still a relatively newer vessel 8 years old but we even went to the vessel which was 70 years old and you would not be able to guess that vessel is 70 years old that's how well maintained these ships were so we also visited the bridge of course here the captain showed us the different bridge equipment this is the tv screen where he played the different videos for us um, the safety equipment was shown and uh, this vessel is about 110 meters in length and a beam of 24 meters so she has a displacement of about 11000 tons her design draft is about 8 meters and it operates with a crew of about 16 people accommodation for eight supernumeraries are there supernumeraries and uh, it has an asymmetric bridge to maximize visibility to all directions from the main steering position on the starboard side and the propulsion units can be steered individually using three joystick like controllers instead of the traditional wheel and telegraph uh, this vessel is uh, classified by lawyers lawyers registers and although the icebreaker is stationed in the baltic sea where there is only seasonal ice cover she is designed according to the international association of classification societies unified requirements for polar class ships 
Her ice class is polar class 4 and it is intended for vessels operating year round in thick first year ice which may include old ice inclusions. However, since the vessel also has a class notation Icebreaker Plus and operates as an escort icebreaker in difficult ice conditions, she has additional structural strengthening in critical areas. Like all Finnish icebreakers since the 1980s, this ship also features an unpainted stainless steel ice belt to reduce friction and protect the hull against ice abrasion and corrosion. You can see the beautiful sceneries we could see from the bridge of the vessel. So Polaris is designed primarily for ice breaking duties. She also has a secondary role as an oil spill response vessel. So the new icebreaker is fitted with equipment for mechanical recovery of spilled oil from the sea in both open water and ice conditions. So you can see here that uh, how clean the vessel is. Look at the deck. Look at the, um, uh, you know, the vessels behind her as well. How well maintained they were, how clean they were. Shows a lot about the dedication of the crew. So we were also allowed to, of course, uh, look at all the bridge equipments. The bridge was big and span absolutely so this this vessel like i said you know it operates with only a crew of 16 not 23 or 40 or 50 but uh, it was amazing to see and the crew were very professional uh, this was of course birthed in helsinki where we got to visit the five different icebreaker ships and and they told us how uh, during off season you know these ships are birthed alongside during which they are used for maintenance but uh, when the ice season does happen these ships have full on work and the captain was showing us different videos of how these ships go ahead and create a pathway for the following ships and uh, it's quite a, a tedious task it's quite a hard i mean people who work on icebreakers will probably know about this so you know that is why uh, the vessels are utilized in such a way so that the improve the overall economics of the state owned fleet is carried out so even during uh, the, you know off seasons these vessels are used for different purposes so uh, we were very lucky as visitors we could go and uh, you know look at them um, and uh, absolutely in detail visit them uh, talk to the captain talk to the crew ask them about the duties and how hard their life is um, i have never been on an icebreaker before so i don't know about you guys but uh, i have never been on an icebreaker so it was very fascinating for me to just go through uh, each and every section of the icebreaker to understand their operations to understand their maneuvering charts, uh, their compass errors, the deviation card. The captain discussed in detail about everything. We were very free to ask questions about each and every equipment and how they operate, what emergency situations they go through, what kind of emergencies they've had in the past. And uh, I could see that, you know, the, the, the crew on the icebreaker ships are highly professional, highly professional, just like I think most of you probably are on any other ship but they were very highly professional they were very proud to be part of this uh, ice crew and uh, they had a lot of stories to tell uh, we could only hear a few uh, because of uh, less time but we found that uh, this was a fantastic experience for all of us so there were other icebreaker ships as well if i can remember the name there was uh, one called fenica one was called nordica one was called botnica um, if i am not wrong i i, I as far as I remember the names uh, of the ships and uh, I could see this amazing you know the, the, the look at the asymmetric bridge that maximizes the visibility uh, to all the directions from the main steering position you can see how beautiful the bridge looks the view here and uh, we went uh, at a good time when the weather was not very cold it was windy it was a bit cold but we thoroughly enjoyed this trip I hope you guys get an opportunity to visit one of these ships as well thank you for watching